Well, the Syrian government showing no signs of slowing down its airstrikes on rebel-held areas, already launching warplanes from the same airbase the U.S. missiles heavily damaged. This as Iran and Russia issued that joint statement saying, quote, what America waged in an aggression on Syria is a crossing of red lines. From now on, we will respond with force to any aggressor or any breach of red lines from whomever it is. And America knows our ability to respond well. Benjamin Hall, live near Syria's border in Antakya, Turkey, with more. All right, Benjamin, you've been speaking to some of the survivors of the chemical attacks. What have you learned? Well, Shannon, it was videos of those brutal chemical attacks which pushed President Trump to launch those tomahawk strikes. And I can tell you, speaking to the people who survived those, who witnessed them firsthand, it's easy to understand what drove him. Among the people who we spoke to were Abdul Karim. He lost 22 others and was today reunited with family members. He described to us some of the things which he saw. Yes, yes. As I entered the house, the whole family was dead. Grown-ups, dead. Family on top of each other. My wife, my children, my brother, his wife, their children, my nieces, all of them, dead. After a few minutes, I fainted. Among the dead also, his 11-month-old twins. He buried them and his wife with his own hands and couldn't bear to put them in the ground, gripping onto them till the end. He also spoke to us about the American strike. I want to tell President Trump the first strike was good. It saved us. But just a few hours later, the airbase continued working. It's like a challenge from Assad. I can still attack, and from the same base, you attacked. And we've actually been in contact with some of the people who are still in Khan Sheikhoun, that town which was attacked, and they say the bombardment has continued. Assad is bombing at a greater pace than before, so little respite for them there. Shannon? All right. Uh, we're also hearing about an attack, an ISIS attack on a coalition base in Syria. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, well, this happened on Saturday. It was actually a rather complex attack at a coalition base in the south of Syria. We do know that U.S. forces were present at the time. It happened at the Al Tanf garrison on the Syrian Jordanian border and consisted of a vehicle borne IED, 20 to 30 fighters, followed up by a ground assault and suicide vests. Now, it was ultimately repelled, it was failed, but it was a daring assault. And it's just a reminder that ISIS remain on the offensive in some parts of this country. They are trying again and again. And as a side note, this was the same base that Russia bombed last year that the U.S. had to come and defend to save their um, coalition allies. Back right. to you, Shannon. Benjamin Hall in Turkey. Thank you.